Let's learn how to add an open-ended question so students can demonstrate their understanding with a written or verbal response. In the Activity and Content Selector menu, choose Discussions, then Open-ended Questions, and click Add to begin creating an open-ended question in your Nearpod lesson. There are three basic steps to creating or editing an open-ended question. Step 1. Create or edit your question using the rich text editor at the top of the screen. You can vary the text size, color, or style, use bullet points, numbers or symbols, and or type math equations. Step 2. Determine which of the additional options you would like to use. Include a timer to keep the students motivated. Add reference media to provide additional materials to be used to scaffold or enrich the question. Enable the option for students to record an audio response. Step 3. Click Save to add the question to your lesson. If this is a new question, you will find it at the end of your lesson slides and you can click and drag it to the best location. To edit this or any other activity, double-click the activity to start editing. Consider two ways you might use an open-ended question. One way to use an open-ended question is simply for students to answer with a longer response, perhaps where the question does not have one specific right answer. Another way to use an open-ended response is to build a multiple-part question. This encourages students to provide a more in-depth answer. This is an ideal option when using a connected passage and students are asked to answer and justify their response. A pro tip about the open-ended question in Nearpod is the record feature. When enabled by a teacher while creating the question, this feature allows students to record their response verbally during the lesson. Recording is a great alternative for those who are too young to type, for those who struggle with written expression, or as a way to simply make it easier for students to talk through their ideas aloud before typing them.